The topic for this lesson is temperature coefficient of resistance. If the temperature of a length of wire is raised, the heat energy causes the random motion of the electrons to increase. On application of a voltage across the wire, there will be greater difficulty to produce current flow or the movement of electrons. Thus, the wire's resistance will have increased as a result of the increase of temperature. The resistance of most metals rises linearly with temperature. Some alloys, however, have resistances which are practically independent of temperature. Again, in other materials, for example, geranium, silicon, and carbon, the resistance decreases with an increase in temperature. The change in resistance with temperature is determined by the temperature coefficient of resistance, or alpha. The value of alpha is measured at room temperature, 20 degrees centigrade. If the temperature of a wire is increased to some temperature T centigrade, then the increase in resistance at that temperature can be expressed as the delta resistance is equal to alpha times the resistance at 20 degrees centigrade times the unknown temperature minus 20 degrees centigrade. Thus, the new resistance is given by the equation R at the new temperature is equal to R at 20 degrees centigrade plus alpha times R at 20 degrees centigrade times a quantity, the new temperature minus 20 degrees centigrade. Or, R at the new temperature is equal to R at 20 degrees centigrade times the quantity 1 plus alpha times the quantity, the new temperature minus 20 degrees centigrade. As an example, consider an aluminum conductor that has a resistance of 1 ohm at 20 degrees centigrade. If we cool the conductor, its resistance will decrease by 0 .0039 for every 1 degree centigrade fall in temperature. What is its resistance at minus 236.5 degrees centigrade? The resistance at minus 236.5 is equal to the resistance at 20 degrees centigrade times the quantity 1 plus alpha times the quantity the new temperature minus 20 degrees centigrade, which is equal to 1 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.0039 times the quantity minus 236.5 minus 20 or 1 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.0039 times the quantity minus 256.5 or approximately 0.